this is called, What Do I Think of the Government Listening to All Our Phone Calls? Mm. I couldn't sleep. I'm look at the, looking at the moon and thinking of the touch of your skin, and the government knows I love you. Does this dress make me look fat? The government wants to know. <laughs> Look, Mr. Tape Recording, I don't want to order Middle Eastern cereal. The government would put me on a terrorist watch list and I'd lose my job, and I don't like cereal anyway. <laughs> Look at the way he treats his mother when you know you promised me and the government call it treason. I'm going to make you a star. This time was practically written for you. No, don't be like that. Even the government thinks you'd be perfect. I had drinks with the government just the other day. This is a wrong number. I'm right, the number is wrong. Please don't come and take me away. Don't lie to me, you're running around with that little trap again. Roses won't get you out of this one. Me and the government think you really stepped in it this time. <laughs> Mrs. Wilson, Mommy and the government want to know if Johnny can come out and play. I'm in for the poker game tomorrow. If my wife doesn't find out, if the government has a wife, they'll understand. I sing God bless America in the shower. The stars and stripes waves from my window. I went all the way up the Statue of Liberty and looked out through her eyes. Don't torture me, please, don't torture me. You beat me up at school in recess and I told Daddy and he's telling the government they're gonna lock you up and throw away the key and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm old and sick and very rich and I want the government to find out which of my children love me and which just want my money. <laughs> I don't have much time. The wars can wait. Even the government knows how beautiful you are with your hair falling down. How can they waste time running a country when there's you to look at? The president's stone faces on Mount Rushmore are on cell phones, and the government calls it national security. They might be phoning other world leaders. They might be phoning the giant stone heads on Easter Island, or the army of Chinese clay soldiers, the government considers a preemptive strike and hasn't decided against what yet. I want to put a mirror on my phone so the government can see itself better than any protest. I won't have to say a word. <laughs> Jack Hirschman, and my sister did a painting of Jack Hirschman, so 
And then the poem picked up Krishna. It's called Wrestling the Wind, picked up Krishna. It's easy to write about what's wrong with the world, outraged, accusing, scolding man and God as if they were both lazy children who hadn't done their homework. It's much harder to keep a vision of what the world should be always behind your smiling eyes and make us look until we want those faces, those lives to call our own for centuries wake up. It's hard to write us outstretched warm hands to hold when we're alone, when you're alone. It's hard to write the world bright as spring rain, bright as summer with no more fault finding than the seasons. What does it mean to be human, to be fully human? How big must a poem be to stretch us to our full height, still testing our legs? We need words to open us like Japanese paper flowers opening in water all at once, against all logic. And yes, it's hard. The poet who makes these words spends his life wrestling the wind. A Diamond Pendant is another new one. I looked at a large diamond pendant pinned against deep blue velvet and closed jewelry shop. I drew closer and imagined I could hear the diamond talk. I used to hang between the breasts of a woman so desired, she named each of my facets after a different lover. She'd lift me to her curling lips and kiss my coldness warm, catching eyes all over the ballroom. When she danced, I was crushed close against all her partners as music spun whirling legs together in a spider web of fiddles and silk. She was glad at the touch of their hot breath and the pull of their hands, I'm glad to see their backs when the music ended. But I am a diamond. I held her harder. I held her colder. And I knew what she wanted. Something of her beauty sank into me, almost a flaw. She was only human. She aged, got ugly, died long ago, long ago. But I am a mirror of what she used to be, just as shining and with no more mercy than her laughter. And I wrote one for the show, which I'm going to end on. It's called Double Vision and Art Show. Photograph faces push themselves upward, all talking at once, like a crowd from a subway into a cold light. But the subway train roars ruthless in their eyes. The wheels inside us go so fast. Painted faces sing in a shower where no one can see them but us. The touch of painted skin is warm. Breath flies in and out the bars of the cage and escapes. Can we escape? Mirrors come here, making color instead of time. Painted fruit looks for our lips. Please touch the exhibits. <laughs> <laughs>